Well, the only anti-rail candidate in Honolulu's mayoral race held a news conference today to try and dispel claims that he took illegal campaign contributions as governor. KITV 4's Andrew Pereira has more. Andrew. Paula, former members of the Campaign Spending Commission say the ad campaign by Pacific Resource Partnership is at best misleading. Cayetano found a loophole. The ad campaign makes it sound as though Ben Cayetano knowingly stuffed his pockets with illegal campaign contributions during his 1998 re-election campaign for governor. No bid contracts for these illegal donors? How did you get away with that? But four former members of the Campaign Spending Commission say PRP's claims are baseless. He did nothing illegal. We would not have closed his account if there were any outstanding liabilities. They're spending over one and a half over half a million dollars to deceive the public and distort the public dialogue. The executive director for Pacific Resource Partnership, John White, was Representative Maisie Hirono's chief of staff from 2007 to 2009. Like Cayetano, Hirono also received campaign contributions she did not know were illegal. The illegal funds totaled more than $164,000. Hirono paid back more than $95,000 but left more than $69,000 unpaid. So did Maisie Hirono, your former boss, also take the legal contributions? I believe the record is out there on any person who's received contributions like that. It's clear that he, he knew about it, but he didn't mention it because uh, their campaign is designed solely at me. Watada confirms a pay-to-play culture existed at the time Cayetano was governor, but his investigation never found any direct link to the state's former chief executive. I don't think you're going to find uh, a more honest politician in the state. However, White points to a 2002 bill vetoed by Cayetano that would have prevented any campaign donor from receiving government contracts. He had a chance to reform the system, and he didn't do it. And all those things... Cayetano vetoed the bill because it only covered the executive branch and not the legislature. Representative Al Bilotti is calling on PRP to pull its ads of Cayetano and disclose all of its donors. She's also calling on Peter Carlisle and Kirk Caldwell, the other candidates for mayor, to denounce the ad campaign. Paula, back to you. All right, thank you very much, Andrew. The debate over previous fundraising is just one of the issues raised in this year's Honolulu Mayor's Race. Be sure to tune in tomorrow night starting at 7 p.m. as KITV and CivilBeat.com host a debate with the three leading candidates, Mayor Peter Carlisle, Kirk Caldwell, and Ben Cayetano, who begin taking viewer questions online for the candidates starting at 6 p.m. tomorrow.